Hello friends and welcome back to Vervain's Arcadia. I'm D. I'm pretty new to gaming and I have been loving Minecraft for almost a year now, which is kind of crazy. Now, as you can see, we have a slightly chaotic little cat dome built, finally. I have been promising this for like, pretty much since I got on the server. And well, it's here. We have our little shrine, of course, to Pickle the first. And Pickle the second, his most majestic Cernus, gets to sit on the bed now. Now, the reason I have a setup for cats is because I want to be able to get things like rabbit's feet and phantom membranes more efficiently for our potion ingredient shop. But no matter what I've done, I'm only getting one gift at most per sleep. The mechanic is that um, if a standing cat can get to you and come sleep on your bed, no matter how many standing cats you have around, only one of them can give you a gift at a time. However, if they are immobilized in a way that they can't get to you, or not even immobilized, but if they're set up in such a way that they can't actually get to you while you sleep, but they're still standing, then all of them have a 70% chance of giving you a gift. As you can see, we have a lot of cats standing in boats, therefore they can't actually come sleep on me on the bed. And everybody who's not in a boat, they, they don't tell anybody, but these are my favorite colored cats. But the only cats that aren't in boats are sitting, and so they also can't come sleep on the bed. But still, I only get one gift per day. It's also a very cute build. I'm pretty proud of this. I would put more trees around it. In fact, I had more trees around it, but uh, they were, um, occasionally gifts will drop outside of the house and the trees were catching it and it was just becoming messy. So this is what we've got. Now I have some capital P plans coming up both for today and the future that involve a lot of building and a lot of things. Oh no, my horso. Ah. Should not be riding over mountains. This is... Uh... Mildly problematic, especially because I can't see. I can't see. Crisis averted. Oh. Oh, no, 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 no. Maybe not. Never mind. But in addition to those capital B plans, we always want to be having fun doing random things, right? Variety is the spice of life. And today's spice is going to be all about animals, I think. <laughs> now, not only are we finally taking our horse out of our storage system <laughs> and bringing him to his home, but we're going to start working on a little, a little thing that I have been thinking about doing for quite a while. We're gonna make ourselves some familiars with our little friendos and we'll go get some burbs. <gasps> oh my gosh! Is there a tiny baby ocelot? There's a tiny baby ocelot! Tiny baby ocelot! Now, I've been thinking about this for a while, but I want to do like a familiar shopping experience, like a temporary pop-up shop kind of thing at Enchanting Grounds, or out back of Enchanting Grounds, and that we will take some animals that maybe are um, either not tameable or animals that we can just catch and bring over. Um, so like we'll have ocelots and parrots, definitely. And we'll also go find ourselves some foxes and other, other good friends like that. All right, come on, friendos. Where's the baby? There's the baby. Now, as we travel across the nether roof, which is only the first of many trips like this we'll be making today, some of the lore around like familiars in, in like folk stories and witchcraft and stuff like that is that they are, um, they're not, you know, your pet or whatever. They are animals that you have a special connection with and they help you practice your craft. So that's a really interesting fact to learn about and kind of the reason that I thought, uh, like my idea is to do this 
pop-up familiar sale with animals that you can't fully tame in Minecraft. We have one portal down and just this one to go. Hi, friends. Baby, come back. Oh my gosh. Really? Here is where we're going to set up our shop. It's directly behind a bunch of shops and it's got this little pond out here. Before we get building, we need to grab another bundle of friends. And we should do, we do, we do. oh, they want to go after the chicken. Oh dear. Oh dear. Friends, friends, come on, come on, we don't need to. It's like having toddlers. No, 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 no. Yes, kill the chicken. Good job. Now, now can we go? Thank you. Now, in other news, I have, between episodes, while dealing with video stuff, uh, gone and messed around with some archaeology. And I found a trail ruin and got two discs and at least one of each of the armor trims out of that, which is great. You guys still back there? And I also went and scoured Warm Ocean and ended up finding two snipper eggs in the same ruined village, too. Well, I'm in love. This looks so good. I honestly wasn't even, like, expecting this. Um, we're not fully stocked yet, but we do have some friends in here already. We have our two types of foxes and our ocelots, as well as some sniffer eggs. So the way this is going to work is that everybody here is 10 diamonds a piece, except for we'll, we'll do axolotls for five a bucket. Um, and maybe rabbits, too. I'm gonna put some rabbits in here. Upstairs, we'll have a spot for our allays and parrots. And they'll get to tame their own parrots. And those will both be ten diamonds as well. But this shop has all the correct vibes and the cutest noises. We'll worry about cleaning up these fellows in a little bit. Because I want to go get some more stock and I think I think the first one we'll do is the allays hello my little allay friends you sound so pretty oh hello you take that from me thank you where's my little allay there she is all right I have some amethyst shards here and we're just gonna step on inside come on pretty allay Where'd you go? She does a little sigh. Oh, hello. Hello. Hi, baby. There you go. All right, come here. Yeah, and then we'll close that. And we get to do this with some relic, which is exciting. Okay. And in we pop. Oh, she danced. He drew a snuffle and a sniff. Oh, and it's a torch flower seed. Delightful. Yeah, you're such a good boy. Yes, you are. I love how my doggo comes over for praise every time I praise the sniffers. Are you very cute? Yes, you are. Mwah. Mwah to you too, sir. Well, I guess I'm going to sit here and keep duplicating LAs for a little bit. And then we'll go looking for some more of our lovely familiars to be added to the shop. Well, I don't really know why I expected it to take longer than it did. It was actually really fast. And we've got some... Oh, dear. Don't you thunder my... my wooden roof. <laughs> oh, that's a cool portal. And I think this is the one that we're going to use for ourselves currently. Um, is this actually going to go into the jungle area? Oh! Oh my gosh! Whose place is this? Oh my word, this is so cool! Oh my goodness! I had no idea this was all... <gasps> this is so cool. I don't know who this is, but... Oh my gosh. They are very skilled. Wow, 
And there's some jungle. Awesome. <gasps> oh! oh my gosh! It's a panda! It's a roly poly panda! I've never seen one of these! <gasps> oh! So cute! Oh my gosh! Okay, this is at a jungle, and this is even closer to the shopping district than we were before. This is actually one of the bases we went to on the tour. Wef was along on the tour, and we kind of went to a bunch of people's bases who were on the tour. It's absolutely gorgeous. Aha! We have burbs. Hello, my friends. Okay. Let's see. The portal is just over the hill. Oh, we'll stay far away from the lava. You know, the first parrot I ever got, uh, I caught him on fire while tending beehives. It wasn't entirely lossless, but we did make it. Little bud's gonna pop through. Well, hello, pretty parrot. I don't really need another parrot that's your color, though. Oh, and another pretty parrot in the same color! <sighs> you guys are lovely, I'm sure. But I think I'm just aiming for two of each color right now. There's a red parrot. Hi, buddy. You come with me? Oh, gosh, that's a creeper, that's a creeper. No, 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 don't kill my birds. Don't kill my birds. Rude. It's the curse. All right. Well, that was almost really painful, but then uh, my experience redeemed itself because we have so many of these guys. I, gr I found and grabbed one of these dudes and, well, I forgot my boat. And so I started swimming back and then I encountered literally all of the others along the way. So, we have a bunch of birds. And now we have to get them back that way. Okay, well, we're heading this way. You all behave yourselves. This is certainly the funniest looking trip across the nether roof we've had with mobs yet. Come right through there. And pop, 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 pop. Almost everybody made it through. Ah, chaos! Parrot chaos! Oh my goodness. Hi, friends. Hello. Hi. Oh, hello. Okay, friends, come on. This is ridiculous. Yep, yep, yep. And then we come up the stairs. Come on. All the way up. Ugh. Didn't realize what a hard time parrots had with stairs. Well, folks, we did it! I... I don't think I've even been breeding axolotls for an hour. I was thinking about, like, building a tropical fish farm, but I still have several boxes of, uh, tropical fish. I went... I went fishing first thing this morning, and I got six and a half boxes in an hour. It was great! And... Well, I haven't collected all of our axolotls, obviously, but I've been collecting a few here and there and putting them in their boxes for going to, you know, the store. But you guys, here in my hand is an actual rare blue axolotl. Back before I knew much about Minecraft, just getting on this server for the first time, I thought that I had found a blue axolotl, but I found a cyan one. Didn't know better, but I do now. And so I promise you, this guy is an actually blue axolotl. Now, this has definitely not been the most efficient way of breeding up axolotls or getting fish or anything like that. But it's so fun. I love that I'm getting to hang out in my hot springs area. And uh, this is this is the little hidden cave back from our main hot springs pool. And I just blocked off the entrance so that none of these guys go a wandering. And yeah, here we are. It's been delightful. Oof, I rescued that fish, okay. Oh, Houston, we have an adult. We have an adult. Oh, okay. Hi, babies. Oh, no, 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 you don't. All right, now we give it a shot. Jupe and little cyan and one, come here. Paint, hey, stop swimming. Boop, there we go. All right, what do we get? What do we get? 
<gasps> a blue baby! Okay, and then little little cyan will then come out. And this is our official blue axolotl breeding spot. And well, I guess now I sit here and keep breeding up little axolotls. Okay, well our axolotls are all boxed up and ready to go. We still have a set of friends here to bring along with us as well. Wait, is that a black bunny? Oh my gosh. Oh, don't hurt yourself, that is a black bunny. Oh my gosh, I haven't had, I, I haven't found one yet here. Oh my goodness. I'm going to tie you guys up to the fence post here. Hi! Hi, little friend. Okay, well, transporting these bunnies is harder than I thought because they can't just, like, go up blocks. For goodness sakes, you little turds. Come on. Let's go. All of us together. It's a one-block jump. Come on, bud. Seriously, why are one-block jumps so hard for you guys? Come on. Okay. Badoop. Badoop. Come on. Up. Other guy too. Up, up, up. Shoop. Shoop. Shoop, shoop, shoop. Be careful! Be careful! Oh my gosh. That was almost really bad. Um, we'll have to give... We'll have to make a regen potion and splash him with it. Because... Gosh, these little guys are so difficult to handle. Uh, I'm using a bed. I have to be so careful to not right click it. Did he go through? Cool, he went through. Then we go boop. Cool. And we didn't die. Well, it was a crazy ride, but Witch's best friend is finally fully stocked. I don't think I've slept in a while. I have no idea when the phantoms are gonna sp spawn on top of me. But we had to do a double gate wall system for these little white lunatics. The red foxes seem to be okay, but uh, they don't like being in proximity to the rabbits and not being able to come, you know, kill them. But axolotls are stocked, and of course the blue ones are mixed into these somewhere. Um, everything is ready to go. We have Fewer LAs, though they still make a lot of noise. But I think, I think this is decent and reasonable. So yeah, I guess we'll go on to doing more things. Hello, sniffer snorts. Have you sniffed and snorted up some seeds for me? I think I'll let them do some free ranging because I'm going to build in this area. So I think. What we're going to do is we are going to connect up our path. So let's see. It's going to go over this hill and it's going to connect over to our hot springs area, which I'm so happy about because I've been waiting to do that for a very long time. Um, and then we're going to have kind of a trapper's cabin with a dog sled and some dogs out around it and I think that's just gonna kind of go in this little spot here and then I was thinking I'll probably actually put a sniffer system in here because this area gets loaded a lot um, and so I'll just put their area and their collection system in this little corner and that'll fill it in and make it not as awkward of a transition too I think so I'm gonna go get started on that. And I will bring you back at some point. Alrighty, well, we have got some things built up in this area. We have, of course, our little trapper's cabin right here. And we still need to bring some dogs over, but we've got a dog sled built. I decided to make it based off of more Scandinavian houses. Um, that you find especially out like by the frozen oceans because in Alaska, well, 
the versions we have of these are basically trailer homes painted in bright colors and smashed together in a little village along an airstrip. So, yeah, went with something a little, a little cuter. But look at this little interior. It's little and cozy and just very good. I like it. I also set up over here our sniffer pen. Um, as you can hear, we have a minecart system underneath, which was a little bit challenging with, you know, a bunch of different levels. We have just, wait, what, what happened here? Did one of you guys stomp on the plant that was here? Rude. But we have a little minecart system underneath and it was a little challenging with like the different levels and all that. Um, it also doesn't seem to be... It's, it's, it's been, it's been a whole challenge. But I think for this we actually, we, we need to, we need to change up our fence a little bit. Just a plain old fence is a little sad. So I've gone ahead and just like collected a few little things to maybe spruce up our fence area here. Okay, so then we go one, two, three. And then I'm gonna go, boop, and boop. Look at them snuffling in the snow, it's the cutest thing. Also, there's been a bug happening, I think. Yeah, are you so proud of yourself? Here, let's, let's, let's scooch. It's possible that the minecart picked it up, but you, I didn't hear a pop when he finished digging. And there's been, I think, a bug going on where some of our uh, sniffers, or about like, I don't know, 30 to 40% of the time our sniffers dig something up, they don't actually dig something up. So I'm not sure what's going on there. Okay, question for you guys. I feel like we need something uh, attaching the tops of the fence together. And I have three options, and I think I know which one I'm leaning towards, but I'm going to ask you guys. Chains, the cherry trap doors, or andesite slabs? What do you think? In the meantime, though, we have some little friends to bring over. And those are our two little doggos here, who have been sitting here as such good doggos, we got them on day one, I'm pretty sure. Oh, the other thing I did while building up this area was give my mine a little bit of an entrance. So now you can come down into it and it it's kind of a little bit permafrosty. I realized I could use rooted dirt to look like permafrost really well. Um, so yeah, that's kind of the vibe going down into our mine area. All right, my little doggos. Come here. Then go a doop and a doop. And we get baby. <gasps> oh, it's such a cute baby. Oh, look at him. Look at him. My dog is also coming up to me and saying, Look at me. I'm cute too. Yes, you are. Mwah. Now, I was thinking about moving villagers into here, but I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should just put, you know, a bed for myself up here, and this can be a more permanent spot to have my bed in this area. I think that's a good idea. Yay, another little baby doggo. Oh, dear. They're getting wet. Oh, the tail go wiggle, wiggle, waggle. And there we go. Alrighty, so now our house has some doggos outside of it. Which is great. Um, let's see. Time to do some color changes. I feel like the ones outside should each have a different color collar. Okay, so we'll go for some bright colors. There you go. Badoop. And badoop. Hello. Oh, there we go. And then we go for some neutral colors too. Boop. And boop. And boop. And then our parent doggos, our very first doggos, are going to be cyan colors. Anyways, this has been a super fun episode to work on. I wasn't necessarily expecting to uh, turn into the crazy mob lady for this one, but here we are. So we have our little uh, familiar shop set up. And we have our sniffer pen set up, which is great because I I've been putting that off a little bit. 
And we have the end of our village all set up as well, which of course included our doggos. Um, the next thing is going to be this area behind me, which is going to be our spring area. So we'll be working on that next episode. It's been a bit chaotic, but I, I'm really glad that we can finally tick this area of our base off completely. Like, this village is done. I have a little bit of snow and up to do, but I'll do that on my own. Um, and that leaves us with, I think, about four elements to finish this base off, which means we're getting really, really close. I'm just so in love with this house, too. It's so cute. I can't stop staring at it. I love it. This is amazing. Anyways, I've got some snow work to do, and I will see you in not too long for our very next episode. Do give this episode a like if you enjoyed it, and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, do go ahead and do that. I would love to have you along for the ride. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!